Hello and welcome to a video presentation on multiplying and dividing integers. Here's what you'll learn. How to multiply and divide integers. We follow two simple steps when multiplying and dividing integers. First, ignore any positive or negative signs and multiply or divide the numbers as you normally would. Then add the appropriate sign to your answer. Now how do we determine the appropriate sign? Well, here are the rules for determining whether your answer will be positive or negative. If the first number is positive and the second number is positive, the answer will be positive. If the first number is negative and the second number is negative, the answer will also be positive. If the first number is positive and the second number is negative, the answer will be negative. And if the first number is negative and the second number is positive, the answer will also be negative. Here's another way to look at it. If both signs are the same, in other words, both are positive or both are negative, your answer is going to be positive. Otherwise, the answer is going to be negative. Let's look at some examples. Let's solve 6 times negative 7. Let's begin by writing down the problem, 6 times negative 7. Now ignore the signs to start and just multiply 6 and 7. We know that gives us 42, so we'll write down 42. Now determine the sign on 42. Since the 6 is positive and the 7 is negative, the rule tells us our answer will be negative 42. Let's solve negative 10 times negative 9. Let's begin by writing down the problem, negative 10 times negative 9. Remember, ignore the signs to start and multiply 10 and 9. We know that gives us 90, so we'll write down 90. Now determine the sign on your answer. Since the 10 is negative and the 9 is negative, the rule tells us our answer will be positive, so the answer is just 90. Let's solve negative 56 divided by 8. Begin by writing down the problem, negative 56 divided by 8. Ignore the signs, divide 56 by 8. We know that gives us 7, so we'll write down 7. Now determine the sign on 7. Since the 56 is negative and the 8 is positive, the rule tells us our answer has to be negative 7. Now let's solve negative 12 divided by negative 3 times a negative 4. Let's begin by writing down the problem. Negative 12 divided by negative 3 times negative 4. We have a couple of operations going on here, so we have to look to the order of operations to solve this. And the order of operations tells us to perform multiplication and division in order from left to right. So we will divide negative 12 by negative 3 first. Ignore the signs. Divide 12 by 3. We know that gives us 4, so we'll write down our 4. And now let's determine the sign on 4. Since the 12 is negative and the 3 is negative, the rule tells us our answer will be a positive 4, so we'll just leave it like that. Now let's bring down the remainder of the problem. We have to multiply by that negative 4 up above. So the last step is to multiply 4 and negative 4. Ignore the signs. 4 times 4 is 16, so we'll write that down. Now determine the sign on 16. Since the first 4 is positive and the second 4 is negative, the rule tells us our answer will be negative 16. Now let's solve 23 minus negative 6 times 4 to the second power. Let's begin by writing down the problem. 23 minus a negative 6 times 4 squared. The order of operations tells us we have to solve the exponent first. That's 4 to the second power. And we know 4 to the second power is 4 times 4, which is 16. 
So rewrite the expression substituting 16 for 4 squared. We have 23 minus negative 6 times 16. Next, the order of operations tells us we always solve multiplication before subtraction. So we're going to look at negative 6 times 16 next. Ignore the signs, multiply 6 and 16 together. We know that gives us 96, so we'll write that down. Now determine the sign on 96. Since the 6 is negative and the 16 is positive, the rule tells us our answer will be negative 96. Now let's bring down the rest of the problem so we have 23 minus negative 96. Finally, we're going to solve the subtraction problem 23 minus negative 96. Now if you remember from our adding and subtracting integers videos, we don't like to subtract integers. We turn them into addition problems and use something called SSDD. Same signs find the sum, different signs find the difference. That's what we're going to do here. Remember, change subtraction to addition and change the sign on the next number. So our expression then becomes 23 plus a positive 96. Now, positive 96 is just 96, so that's the same as 23 plus 96. So our answer is 119. Finally, let's look at a word problem. A video store was keeping track of the number of videos that were rented and returned to the store each hour over a five hour period on a Friday. The table displays those results. What was the average change per hour? Now, as with every problem, we need to understand what's being asked first. In this case, we need to make sure we understand what the table is telling us. The data in the top row contain our times for the five hour period from three o'clock until seven. The data in the second row tell us if more videos came back to the store, those are the positive numbers, or left the store as rentals, those are negative numbers, for each of those five hours. The problem is asking us to find an average, and to do that we have to add all of the numbers together. So we're going to add negative 11 plus 4 plus 3 plus a negative 20 plus a negative 21. And to find the average, don't forget to divide by the number of terms we added together. In this case, it's 5. Now, we start solving this expression by reducing the number of terms in the numerator until we're left with only one number that we can then divide by 5. So, let's solve the addition in order from left to right. That means first we're going to solve negative 11 plus 4. Remember SSDD from our adding integers video? SSDD tells us to find the difference between these two numbers because the signs are different. Ignoring the signs to start, the difference between 11 and 4 is 7. And since 11 is a larger number than 4, our answer will take the sign of 11 and become negative 7. So let's rewrite the numerator portion, substituting negative 7 for negative 11 plus 4. Then we have negative 7 plus 3 plus negative 20 plus a negative 21. We're making the numerator smaller and smaller as we do these step by step. Now let's solve negative 7 plus 3. Again, SSDD tells us to find the difference because the signs are different. The difference between 7 and 3 is 4. And since 7 is the larger number, the answer is going to take its sign to become negative 4. So we'll rewrite the numerator now as negative 4 plus negative 20 plus a negative 21. Next, let's solve negative 4 plus negative 20. SSDD tells us to find the sum this time because the signs are the same. The sum of 4 and 20 is 24 and since 20 is the larger number our answer will take its sign to become negative 24. So now the numerator is negative 24 
plus a negative 21. Now let's solve the last addition problem in the numerator, negative 24 plus negative 21. SSDD tells us to find the sum because the signs are the same, they're both negative. The sum of 24 and 21 is 45. And since 24 is the larger number, the answer takes its sign to become negative 45. So now our fraction is negative 45 over 5. And that's the final step to getting our answer. We have to divide negative 45 by 5. Remember, ignore the signs to start. 45 divided by 5 is 9. Then a negative divided by a positive will give us a negative 9, but that's not the answer because it's a word problem, so our answer has to be in words. Our final answer will be the average change is negative 9 videos per hour, or stated another way, 9 more videos leave the store than are returned each hour. Congratulations! You've learned how to multiply and divide integers.